afternoon to all today the name of the topic is how can we install the windows it may be a windows 7 window 8 or window 9 10 this is how can we install windows 7 operating system we are going to discuss it bit by step by step procedure the first is we have different options or we have a different ways by who we can install the window first you can use the pen drive if you want to install the window you can uh, even uh, install the window by using a bootable cd or dvd or we can go for a hard disk by default we can install window from cd and dvd but if you want to uh, install it by using a pen drive you have to make some little modifications now see the steps very carefully first is turn your computer on and then press dell or any uh, function key like as f2 it's depend upon your computer motherboard when we press either a dell or f2 we enter into bios bios stands for basic input output system this is the first step to install the window second how go to the boot menu and choose boot from cd or dvd now it's your choice you are installing the window from cd or dvd or uh, you are installing the window with the hard disk or uh, you are installing the window with the help of pen drive so we are using cd here because we have a different types of options we can uh, even use a pen drive for installing the window we can use hard disk for installing the window or we can use a cd or dvd for installing a window it's your choice which uh, type of media you want to use now click on the boot you will get this type of message and this comes under bio setup utility basic input output system now load your windows 7 dvd here in this class we are installing the window window with the help of dvd now load your windows 7 dvd and boot it it will now load the set of files it look like this press any key to boot from cd or dvd you can press any key when you press any key it start loading the files this message will uh, shown to all of you window is loading files next is after the file files are loaded the next step is booting process is in progress so after that booting take place next once uh, once booting is done now the task is to select which in which language you want to install your window like english it have a drop down list and drop down list are multiple options you can select the language according to your requirement or according to your native time and uh, currency format you can set the time and currency format accordingly keyboard or input type method you can select all these three options accordingly and then click on next now click install now click on this install now button next after clicking on the install now you will see setup is starting this dialog box will be visible next condition is click on this check box i accept the license terms then click on the next button next now you have two options either you can go for a upgrade or go for a custom upgrade means we are working on a window 7 and i want to install window 8 window 9 window 10 if you are working on the windows and you just want to uh, upgrade its version only then you have to go for a upgrade custom means we are installing the window first time so the uh, difference between upgrade and custom upgrade means i am using windows 7 on my computer system but later on i i just want to change it with window 10 it means i am upgrading the windows 7 with window 10 custom means uh, i am installing the fresh copy of window i don't have window on my computer system i am installing first time then you have to go for custom Next, to select the drive where you want to install Windows 7. Then click on Next. You can either click on this drive option, Advanced, or 
then click on next next click on this new and again click on next when um, when we will click on new the previous window will be deleted or uninstalled and uh, we just need to click on apply then next next is drive option menu window wants that it may need to create up your partition so window uh, give you a warning that it need to do some or create up your partitions for the system if you are agree for this click on okay next is disk 0 disk will remain same but it will be divided partition 1 partition 2 then click on next now it will now start installing the windows 7 the first step was already done when you booted the windows 7 dvd after completing the first step it will decompress the files that it had copied first, uh, first is copying the window files next we need to decompress the files next is installing the features now window installing is going on after that it automatically restart after 15 seconds when you follow all the steps then you have to wait for 15 seconds after 15 seconds it will automatically restart and continue with its setup so you just need to click the restart now to restart without any delay it's up to you you want to wait or if you want to re restart it now just click on restart now button After installing the window, please do not press any key. You have to wait for this. Don't press any key from the keyboard. Now window is starting. Setup is updating. Now setup is starting services. After restarting for the first time. it will continue with the setup this is the last step so it will take most time than the previous steps once we have uh, followed all steps of installing the window and we click on the restart button then uh, after restarting your computer system it will take some time because this is the last step so it will take more time as compared to previous steps setup will continue after restarting your computer so setup will continue next is now you have to set the username type your desired username in the text box and click on the next it will automatically fill up the computer name now set the password this is for new password we type it for matching and uh, you just need to type password hint so that you can remember it easily after setting the password for your account you just need to click on the next button type your product key in this text box and uh, click on the next button it's your choice you can uh, type it uh, or uh, even you can skip this step and you can type it later on now select your desired option for windows update it's uh, you can uh, click on any option So it helps protect your computer and Im, uh, improve Windows automatically. Now select time, time and date, and click on the next button. If you are connected to any network, it will ask you to set the network location. If you are using any type of Wi-Fi or any other network connectivity, you have to set its network location. Now window is finalizing your settings. This is how the window is finalizing your setting. See the message. Window is finalizing your settings. Welcome screen. This is called booting. This uh, this is the pro uh, progress bar or process progress, and uh, this is called booting. Until and unless you get see the desktop, the time period it will take is called a booting. Now preparing your desktop. Now this is the fresh copy of Windows Seven. 
now windows 7 is installed on your computer system this is the fresh copy of windows 7 you can start your work over there firstly uh, you have to install some drivers on your pc so how can we do it see the computer icon on the desktop right click on this go to the manage and uh, in management computer management click on the device manager then you are able to add or install drivers on your pc thank you so much class